Say it ain't so, Tony Evans. Hey, thanks for joining me today. My name is Pastor Frederick, and if you like this video, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell button to be notified. Be sure to like this video as well so I can be discovered on the algorithm. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Tony Evans. Now, there's been recent conversations about his views on salvation on uh, regarding people who have never heard the gospel. This has been a a trending topic here uh, recently, and he has some kind of outlandish views. It was caught me by surprise. You know, I was not expecting Tony Evans to have these kinds of views. So listen to this clip. I'll be right back. The Bible says in Romans 1 that men suppress the truth. Now, you cannot suppress what you don't have. It's like holding a peach ball on the water. It wants to come up, but you're forcing it down. When a person rejects the revelation of God in nature or in conscience, they are condemning themselves because something wants to come up that they keep forcing down. That's not the scenario I'm painting. I'm painting a scenario where a person wants to know the true God, desires to know the true God. That gives God three options. One, God can send him a missionary, the traditional way. Two, God can give him a direct revelation of himself, like he did Paul on the Damascus Road. Or three, and here it is, God can trans-dispensationalize him. That is, relate to him out of another dispensation, because dispensations are based on information given. So that, all throughout the Bible, all people had to do was believe what God had revealed and they were saved. If a person believes, God, somebody's up there that created this, somebody created me, I don't know who he is, but I want to know him. If that person were to have a heart attack at that moment, God could not condemn him and be just, because God says, he who seeks shall find. So since God makes that promise, if God doesn't give him the gospel or give him a direct revelation, then he has to judge him out of another dispensation. First and foremost, let me say I appreciate Tony Evans' ministry. I appreciate his faithfulness to preaching. I even appreciate his thoughtfulness in trying to provide an answer to this age-old question. Essentially, what he's saying is the person who's never heard Jesus Christ, never heard his name, never heard the gospel, if they want to be saved, they have if they have a little bit of light in them, that little bit of light is sufficient enough for them to be saved. It's a fish, it's sufficient faith, even though they've never heard the gospel. Now, this is a departure from the historical understanding of the gospel that has been preached throughout the church history. It's it's a, it's a departure. This is kind of unorthodox. I would say that Tony Evans is teaching a form of universalism or inclusivism, which is the belief or idea that Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation. But there may be people who are saved without even knowing it. Christ has redeemed them, even though they've never heard the gospel, they've never called upon the name of Christ to be saved, yet they have vague faith, or they they, they cried out to God, even though they don't know Yahweh or Jesus Christ. This, this unction is sufficient faith to be saved. This is what Tony Evans is teaching is a departure from the historical understanding of Christianity. Now, this is what John MacArthur had to say about Tony Evans's clip. I'll be right back. Section, Tony writes that people who never hear the gospel, if they will accept whatever light they have, God will acknowledge that as sufficient for their salvation. That in itself is a, I mean, that is a departure from historic Christian gospel. We would say that if someone lives up to the light they have, then the, the Lord, who is not limited in his capacity to deliver the truth, will bring the full light. And that no one could ever be saved apart from Christ. This is more of the kind of thing that Tony Campolo says, that people are, are being saved by Jesus who don't even know there is a Jesus. This is that wider mercy view as it's called. Furthermore, living up to natural human light apart from the revelation of the true and living God wouldn't save anybody in any dispensation. 
you know what i gotta agree with john MacArthur on this one this is this is heresy that tony evans is teaching i disagree with tony evans on this topic so someone was someone would say well what about the innocent tribesmen on an island you know is god going to condemn him you know because he's never heard the gospel this innocent tribesmen right this is what people will say this is kind of a moral argument against god well the idea is god will just send people that to hell unjustly or unfairly well that's not the case god does not send anyone to hell unjustly he does not condemn anyone unfairly because there are no innocent tribesmen <laughs> there are no innocent tribesmen uh, people on these islands these deserted islands they they don't want to be contacted by missionaries they kill missionaries who try to come and give them the gospel these innocent tribesmen they practice idolatry they they have folk religion they have different gods that they worship this has been going on all throughout history now tony evans or people like him would say well what about those in the old testament they didn't call upon the name of jesus to be saved yet they were saved well they knew um, of a messiah right they knew that the messiah was coming to forgive their sins so what christ did on the cross is retroactive it applies to the old testament saints they knew of a messiah they were expecting a messiah they were believing in the future work of Jesus. We believe in the finished work of Jesus. But the innocent tribesmen, they don't believe in any of that. They believe in their own version of God, which is idolatry. So what does the man on the island do? In the imagination of the universalist, he just cries out for vague mercy and forgiveness, claiming no merits of his own. In the real world, however, he probably participates in a form of idolatry and contradicts and undermines the gospel of grace. Now, the Bible is clear on salvation, and Paul has a very straightforward approach to be saved. The only way to be saved is to call upon the name of Jesus, and you have to believe the gospel, right, to call upon the name of Jesus. And the only way to believe the gospel is to hear the gospel, and the only way to hear the gospel is to be told the gospel. This is the only way a person can be saved. You see, this whole idea is based on a misconception. People believe that God can't send someone to hell if they never heard the gospel. It's like, that's not fair. How can God send someone to hell if they never had an opportunity to hear the gospel? But the that's not, but that's not how God works. God sends people to hell because they are sinners. We've all sinned against God's law, God's word. So anyone who, who goes, who is condemned, will be there justly because we're all guilty sinners in the eyes of God. And it's possible that those who never hear the gospel were never meant to hear the gospel. God is all knowing. He knows who will believe and who will reject. God knows that this is a possibility. I'm not saying this is the case, but it's a possibility that those who never hear the gospel were never going to believe in the first place. God does not send people to hell because they don't believe. God sends people to hell because they are sinners and they're guilty before him. Is Tony Evans wrong on this subject? Absolutely. But is Tony Evans a heretic? That's that's a very tough question because we don't want to just throw out the word heretic. He's just off on this for some odd reason. I don't believe Tony Evans is a heretic, but he's absolutely wrong on this issue. He needs to change his opinion on this, on this issue and get back in line with historical Christianity and the understanding of the gospel. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell button so you can be notified for future videos. I'll be back next week with another video. Man, be sure to tune in. This is by the book. Peace.